the 2010 FIFA World Cup Sir Blatter is God will be organized in yeah. South Africa. He wants people in a hundred years probably to talk about what did Blatter bring to world football and what he wants is Africa. The greatest show on earth is coming to Africa. <laughs> Most of us used to play soccer. I was hopeless. <laughs> Actually, the majority of people in South Africa are football mad. And people need a home. They need a cathedral to go to every week and to worship. They have Hoover's that the world will see for the first time. So this will be a very noisy world of song and dance and celebration. But it will have a different flavor. It will have a flavor of Africa. Difficult questions need to be asked. You see, I've got my legal team here. FIFA is set to make billions, but what will it mean for South Africans themselves? <laughs> Soon, I'll get a job like building a stadium and I'll be happy to do it. We'll make more business if 20 to 10 come, I'm so happy. Who really benefits? FIFA, the television rights are its main source of income. FIFA's already got its money. Why build new stadia? If we are building universities, why should we not build major international stadiums? The sinfulness of what we have done is excruciating in terms of a misappropriation of resources. They don't dream to go to hospital. Public funds have been looted for a moment in our history. People are still going to be living in shacks. You can build as big a stadium as Germany can build. It's, it's a bit pathetic, really. The approach is one of appearance, where stadia become much more important than what's actually going on behind the scenes. They put plastics on our head so that they will call in stadium and then us on our bed so that they can beat us. If we are going to have white elephants, so be it. Fahrenheit 2010. Finally, a look behind the scenes and beyond the hype. The truth about the biggest sports event in history. Available now on Video On Demand.